Hello, Henry Edgars and uh, Henry from Netherlands. This is Henry. Hello. You have seen him uh, not so long ago in uh, Anna's Coco Scuola. When you were is it two weeks ago, three weeks? I think it was three weeks ago. Three yes. weeks ago in uh, and now I'm visiting him in the Netherlands and he he has a fantastic place. So a uh, next idea came out from Henry's garden. So he have so many nice trees, bending branches like this Morus Nigra. He is good in pruning all kind of trees. Fagus, yeah. Fagus and not only. Can you? So idea is in Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia or Scandinavian countries we had, uh, at least in Baltic countries, we had this way of gardeners doing uh, bending trees and uh, pruning, holding them in spe specific shapes. But it's lost in a Soviet time, not so many gardeners doing it. So idea is to bring a little bit of uh, culture and history from uh, Netherlands and uh, Henry's uh, experience of practical yeah bending pruning shaping of artificial the trees. shapes yeah, 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 of yeah. all kind of trees for uh, urban spaces when we don't have enough space we can have still even a big lime trees like those and uh, in between two neighbors we had have a uh, trees having uh, usually very big Canopies. Yep. But uh, can we a little bit go and uh, just uh, introduction from your garden? So okay. Now we see some uh, peaches over here, and they are perfect. And especially on the places like this, where they are planted in front of a wall, and we know that in front of this wall, at the south side, we are at the south <laughs> side now. This is having the same climate as the mid of France. That means the pears over here are bigger and more tasty because they cover more sun. More sun. So this is an experiment. It's an experiment of uh, uh, figures, fig. Um, not so very successful. It's at the border where you can have fig or not, but still as a shape, it's a nice tree. I like this. So the next one is a very nice one. Pear. It's pear and these are double use and it's really hard to form trees like this and you have to take time for trees to form them like this really takes a lot of time but the end is the best producing pears you can get with the best fruit so this is about very small gardens but if you have a bigger garden bigger space and more ambitious projects so then you can uh, do something with a very big trees like lime tree yeah still remember you have to maintain them <laughs> that means Sometimes I'm a slave of my own garden because I always have to prune trees. But the benefit is, over 100 years, maybe not me, but another one, is pruning these trees in exactly the same shape. These are Dewey's candles, and in 100 years they will be bigger, but not higher or wider or whatever. So Older, but not the size bigger. The size yeah, the same, they will only be as thicker. age. That's, that's what I need to say. Yeah. A fantastic. I'm here and uh, the feeling is just that somebody already, I don't know, 20, 25 years, 30 years are just doing a great job here. So uh, even yeah. if you are not here, I can uh, see that somebody like you is <laughs> working hard. <laughs> right. You have all the fans like this. So uh, yeah. how to make it and uh, some ideas and tips if somebody is ambitious as well. So you could uh, come and learn. So we are planning now to do this. The time is good when the new growth is. So this is a June. We could do it with uh, Sandhans or uh, this uh, mid-June festival, 21st of June approximately. And next year, 2019. So you can uh, put it already now in a shadow. So 90% that we could make it. Um, yeah, if, if time has been given to me, I'm sure we are going to be there. So yes. this is a special project. This is the best green space, green pavilion I have seen from a pear trees. Yeah, these so are pear trees, not giving fruit because if they produce fruit, fruit and you're sitting over there you won't like the box and materials coming on it but these are really beautiful pear trees and it's the best place for me to sit in the summer and it's having a diameter of four and a half meter and it's really very nice covered with flower in so let's say March then they are flowering already like now in the spring when there is not enough sun you have sun inside but in the summer when it's hot, you don't have sun here, right? It's all covered with the leaves. Yeah, and these are very nice trees to have because they don't give bugs or something. They are very nice to, to sit on. 
Yeah. So one more project is platanos. It's very popular in a, because it's strong and uh, healthy a tree. So this is a uh, one yeah. way you are uh, making green roofs or parasol or uh, it's a natural parasol of course and uh, it's it's quite a big one uh, but it's only having eight branches and I think if you like to produce if you want to make a characteristic plane tree just limit the amount of branches because if you use all the branches then there is no branch who is giving the character like this now you only have one thick branch with these beautiful butts on it and that's the way I like to make plane trees and one more thing I want to show the best one I think is if you go uh, this way <laughs> let's do it quick shall we? so there of course a lot of nice details like this arch here and a very special project about Nigra Sambucus. Sambucus Nigra. But this yeah. is another story, not That's for this <laughs> short <laughs> three minutes. Fagus, can he brought from the last garden? Last garden I had about 25 years ago. <laughs> no, it's now nearly 30 years ago, I think. Yeah, but same the sales, same size. So you took them with you? Yeah, I took them with me. <laughs> of course, some taxos and some other pr prune trees. Capinus, yes, very good. And there is uh, a special project. So you can slowly start to explain what is it. What you see now is a lime tree, Telia Europea, which is representing the horizontal way of our society. That means that most of the people are in the lowest layer, which is over here, six meters in diameter. We go a little bit sun, because of sun. And the noble people and the people from the Catholic churches the leaders, of course, are in the second layer. You see, that's not so big anymore. <laughs> and the highest layer is God in heaven. These are not fashion trees. These are trees who are in the Netherlands for 250 years, especially at churches. Well, I don't have a church over here, but I produce this tree on this area to show how beautiful trees can be if you please them. So this is a very historical tree and this is a expanding culture through the trees. I think not Henry has so many stories. I came here for 15 minutes. I'm already here more than one and a half of hour. <laughs> and this is only a beginning. So I'm excited to bring Henry and his experience to Baltic countries. So if you are interested, plan your next year, 2019, June. I think 21st of the June, maybe 20th as well. And uh, yeah. So we bring you some pictures and some stories and drawings and Caesar's take with you. So let's see you. Thank you, Henry. I'm excited to meet you. <laughs>